Hey guys, so if you follow me on Instagram, you probably already seen my post in regards to my Gardenia. I tried this last year unsuccessfully, and I, I have um, more of very contradicting information online, different vlogs, different articles, things like that. What I feel like I should follow is this. So apparently, in the colder months where there's not a lot of sunshine, this needs bright direct light when it comes to the summer months or extreme sunshine this needs to be indirect light so i'm going to try that method because mine last year died and i really want to keep this alive so this is a gardenia i don't really know the color of flowers i don't know much about gardenias aside from they smell beautiful and amazing and that's what i really want um I just wanted to document this just to see how beautiful it still is. When I got this, there was one yellow leaf in there. I took it off and I just, um, so far so good. I actually put this in different spots and I think this is the, the best spot for it because I have um, some lights for this and uh, I usually turn it on when it's dark because um, you know I'm battling with PCS anxiety and, and pretty much teetering with depression and the LED lights really do help me in the daylight setting so I turn that on when it's dark and it does it doesn't erase all of it and make me feel like happy and sunshine or anything but it does help it helps a little bit and a little bit is a big deal for me so I just wanted to document this and show you guys and if you can see right here this is a bud and another one right here it looks like this is gonna grow more when I saw this um, the person delivering it like I would say the vendor of the nursery she was still putting everything you know away and I wanted to see what was going on okay. sorry this is a bud a bud a bud and um, there were like four or five of these only and they were all fresh from the nursery. Like she was still like putting it on, on display. And um, so I was really looking at all of them and looking at which one was the best one. And for me, this was the best one. There were some of them that had already, the flowers already bloomed. It, it was weird because one plant had like a white one and then it become yellow. I think it wilts and becomes yellow. And I didn't want to get one of those. And there were ones that had zero yellow leaves however they weren't as bushy or they didn't have as many buds you know and for me i think overall this was like the best one for me in my opinion so that's why i pick this one out i can't wait to keep updating in regards to this plant hopefully the next update i have there's a little bit of growth and hopefully um or maybe one of the buds start to open. I'm not really in a rush for that because that just means there are no more buds. Then it means I'm gonna have to wait for new buds to have flowers. And But I'm still very excited for that to start because they smell like, they smell so heavenly to me. And I really, really love that. And I just want this, this beautiful plant to just keep growing, getting bigger, getting thicker, getting lusher. And that's all I want. I mean, that's all I want in all of my plant babies. So let's be honest with that. Um, so anyway, uh, everything is linked down below. My social media accounts, what I'm using with this plant so far, what um, anything else that I didn't mention that you know I'm using. And I have everything written down due to my PCS. I have a lot of memory issues. And so I don't want to say the incorrect things of what I'm using probably. Because I always try to get something better or find something better or whatever. Or just stick to whatever is going on. I honestly don't even know. Everything is written down for me. So I'm just going to show you guys that in the description section. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, let me know down below. If you want to. A lot of people want to make things private for their own personal reason. All my, Again, all my contact information is down below. I hope you enjoyed my video. You're going to hit the thumbs up. And of course the bell and sub hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet and um let's let's go on this journey together thank you guys for all the love encouragement and support they mean so much 
I you just you just have no idea how much I have a lot of dark days more than good days and you know the wonderful beautiful positive words really do help a lot for me so thank you guys so much for the support and I'll see you guys again next time on the update bye